So Beethoven's Appassionata is his 23rd piano sonata. It's opus 57 in F minor. Uh, Appassionata means passionate in Italian, and the sonata definitely lives up to that description. So for some biographical context, um, it was composed during 1804 and 1805 and was dedicated to Count Franz von Brunswick. So these years mark Beethoven's middle period in terms of uh, style and composition. And this period was characterized by a lot of very large scale uh, symphonic works. So there was increases in technical demands for the players, uh, as well as musical flexibility. Uh, Beethoven himself considered the Appassionata to be his greatest piano sonata right up until he composed Hammerklavier. Um, so the main theme of the movement that I'm playing is very quiet and ominous. It's a down and up arpeggio uh, in dotted rhythm. So. Um, and this is immediately repeated, but up a semitone, which is very unusual. So. So this theme uh, makes a lot of use of the uh, lowest F uh, on the keyboard, which was actually the lowest note available to Beethoven at the time. And the introduction also introduces uh, what's known as the fate phrase, so it's this. Um, and you can sort of think of this as, as fate knocking on your door in a way. And uh, it's used to raise a lot of the tension in the first movement. and especially in terms of the culture that was very much believed in fate and predestination. It's a, it's a very chilling phrase. So on the opposite side of the spectrum, though, the sonata also has a secondary, much more lyrical phrase um, that's sort of a variant on the first one. And this is a much more noble, much less dark. So here's the phrase. And the two themes are sort of intertwined throughout the movement, um, which also enables Beethoven to avoid repeating the exposition, which was a sort of a requirement for sonatas at that time. Uh, and as with the interchanging of themes, the movement has very jarring dynamic shifts. So it shifts from pianissimo to fortissimo, and very tender sections are mis mixed in with very harsh and angry ones. Uh, so it sort of runs the gamut of human expression in a way. Um, the coda at the end of the opening movement is uh, the largest and the most dramatic one, at least up until this point, in terms of Beethoven's composition. Um, and it's very long, and it contains a lot of sort of quasi-improvisational arpeggios, which span a lot of the, uh, at least the 19th century's keyboard's range. And uh, in terms of the second and third movements, the second movement is interesting in that it's a set of variations, which is essentially unheard of uh, in sonatas, at least up until that point. And the third movement sort of returns to the fast-paced, very passionate themes of the first. So overall, the sonata is a really extraordinary example of sort of pushing the boundaries of what one individual piece can express. And it's been very much an honor to learn it.
Thank you.